all right welcome back to ds trucks in today's video we're gonna be making some runs and taking care of some things but i want to start off by talking about this hitch and i want to take a look at the wear that has occurred over the last two years of having this hitch and i also just got a new one a full three inch receiver and that's gonna go this is a two and a half inch shank uh here's the new guy but the last couple of weeks grab this oh over the last couple weeks I did notice that my old waist safe was getting a little bit loose here on the ball and I want to show you guys that and compare it to a brand new one but first let's switch this thing out real quick and uh, slide this out uh, hold two inch shank right there and I will say now this hitch has been good over the last two years or so it's still measuring the weight and everything but with the 450 I wanted to go ahead and order the three inch one and uh, this one's crispy guys crispy so this guy's going on the truck does not need the reducer the difference is it handles more tongue weight more towing than uh, two inch shank look at that beauty and that's the thing about the waist safe hitches is they look great. I do think I need to raise this up a bit. No, it doesn't. No, this one, uh, it's about to set. Eh, maybe a little bit. Eh, I don't know. It's close. It definitely looks better when it's in the lowest position. But we'll see. Anyway, just slide this guy in there. Fits good, fits good. All right. All right, guys. So, as you can see, we have our way safe on the truck. But I want to compare how loose the ball is. Now, here's a brand new one. It's good to make sure that you put your pin in there. But on this old guy... Uh, ball has started to do this which is not really not really great so that may be the one Achilles heel with this uh, hitch is the ball you know for what I'm doing so much vibration and whatever does seem like the ball has gotten loose here and maybe I'll break them down later I don't really have time now to do it to see what's actually loose it seems as if the pin has become quite loose now it doesn't look like anything's gonna wear out to the point where it's gonna fail but it could be why the trailer didn't feel so great the last time I towed with it so anyway we're gonna make a couple runs we're probably gonna pick up the trailer and do some towing and see if this new hitch feels better than the loose one but anyway see you guys in the next scene all right, guys, but before I do any towing, I got to pick up something for the old lady at the old East Detroit bakery. But the uh, F-450 fits pretty good, guys. <laughs> Tight parking. But, yeah, truck looks good. All right, guys, so I just hooked up the 450 again with the new waste safe hitch. And I'm curious to see if it tows better. Right now, the hitch is at 1,000 pounds on the tongue thousand pounds on a ton it's a four thousand pound trailer and it probably has a thousand worth of material in it i don't know it's brush it's leaves so it's not real heavy but it sits good the new hitch is great i greased it real good and i'm gonna drive it and see if it feels better if it feels better then that loose hitch does have an effect if it feels the same all that play must not have a effect that you can feel it could just be a result of having too much tongue weight that it felt weird uh, previously but yeah these waste safe hitches they can get worn out because of the soft aluminum the uh, pin that holds the ball in is soft aluminum so if you have a waste safe hitch it's probably a good idea to make sure you keep the ball greased real good and to uh, I don't know if it gets loose then go ahead and switch this thing out 
but because you can just get this in if you want it but at the same time uh, if you're gonna be doing a lot of hardcore heavy-duty type of work where you're unloading maybe if I was unloading a Bobcat or something like that it might be a good idea just to use this scale one to find my tongue and set up the trailer and then put this inside of the cab and have their other one that does not have a scale and does not have moving parts but anyway let's hit the dump all right guys so driving with the 14 foot dump behind me and I will say with a new hitch without all the play the hitch feels a lot better the towing feels a lot better it doesn't feel clunky and you know it feels like it's it doesn't feel as good as when you have a little bit of more weight on the rear of the trailer. It definitely doesn't feel perfect, but it does kind of go to show that having the slop in the in the hitch will translate to a lower quality tow. And it does lend its hand to the idea that I should retire the loose waste safe hitch. If I do decide to continue to run it, I should replace the uh, scale and the pin and all that honestly the ball itself is okay but the aluminum has kind of worn loose uh the scale and everything still works but everything's just gotten loose over the years i've had it for a number of, number of years and i've used it every single day so we'll see how this one goes uh i really didn't really pay attention too much to this play until I already had the hitch. Oh man. I didn't really notice the play until I took the until I already pretty much had the new hitch coming in. And you know, it's like now it's like, hmm, I wonder how long this new one's gonna last, being that we're doing some pretty heavy duty stuff. I mean we got a dumb trailer and all that. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna keep the ball greased. And I'm going to try to make sure that I take care of it. But this other hitch, I pretty much ran it. And uh, it, the, the scale itself has performed great. But I will say, there are wear points in that hitch. That when you're doing some heavy-duty stuff, it might be a good idea to use maybe a, either, either a different hitch or their hitch that doesn't have any moving parts. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and get this dumped. And I'll see you guys at the dump. All right, guys, here at the dump. And it's a wet one but yeah guys everything's pulling a lot better yeah the worn out hitch not too good so yeah I'm definitely not gonna run that hitch anymore I'm probably just gonna mount it to my mower and turn my mower into a trailer hauling whoa look at that pile of leaves oh that's from the waste management wow they've uh they've got a dump in the same spot as me and that's something we got the other people here dumping and blowing and taking care of business let's see if we can get in there it's kind of busy we're driving through the mud here with the 450 will we get stuck will we need the 4x4 I don't know the guys lined up I should have brought a blower that would have been nice if, if I could uh, help a fellow with his blowing but uh no just got the one blower I'm gonna go over here where it's wide open Let's see here got a little mud on my boots all right all right, that one's dumped. Let's see what we can do. Oh no, stuck. Oh no, it's trying. Steaming. Let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. that did for us yeah it looks like a lot of that came out of there huh all right guys leaving the dump and I will say this limited slip stuff is nice I mean the thing 
doesn't need to be in four wheel drive just hooks up and all the muck but anyway uh, I dumped the load uh, waste safe hitch lost 500 pounds but anyway I'm gonna head home and I'll see you guys at the next scene alright guys so I want to conclude this video and this did end up being a video about the waste safe hitch now I do want to come out and say that I love waste safe hitches I think they offer the best value and by no means do I want to bash the brand or bash the company I just want to show the honest results that I've gotten from this hitch over the last two years and as you guys can see uh, this hitch might not be the best solution for everybody out there uh, for example now if you're towing a lawn care trailer like I've used this hitch to tow a lawn care trailer for two years what that does is puts a lot of negative pressure because typically a lawn care trailer does not have support rams at the end of the trailer when you're unloading a heavy mower which is uh, not a bad idea to have or incorporate some kind of way to uh, you know it does exist for there to be options in the gate the, the lift gate for the trailer to allow for all that pressure not to be applied to the ball so when you take a mower off of a trailer it lifts up the trailer and it lifts up on the ball now you're cutting lawns you're doing residential you're doing all these houses and so let's say you do 30 houses a day it's going to pick up on this ball probably 60 times in one day and over the course of a couple of years that's going to put a lot of extra wear and tear on that pin that holds this in and just the just in general put wear and tear on the ball and it does show with the old hitch as you saw earlier in the video that it was really loose um, for that application it's probably just a good idea to just use something like this to check your distribution of your trailer and once you know how it's distributed if it's always loaded that way then just switch to a normal hitch because it doesn't have all the moving parts and wear points that this hitch has that being said, uh, I did order this. If I really would have thought about all this stuff before ordering it, I don't know if it would have changed my decision necessarily. They do have a 180 hitch, and I did earlier mention that that has less moving parts. It's the one with the ball coming out of the top and the bottom. But upon further uh, investigation, that hitch actually still has the locking pin, and it could still suffer from the same uh, issues. Now, they do have a hitch that is a two inch receiver hitch it has a scale on it it's just a straight hitch it doesn't have a drop and you can just mount any ball to it and that looks like it might be free from any of these issues now with all this being said is this hitch still a good value so one thing i found with with uh the worn out hitch the last time i used it before retiring that hitch is with the loose ball and too much tongue weight, we were running like a thousand pounds of tongue weight for a uh, four thousand pound dump trailer loaded with brush. Probably, probably uh, six seven hundred pounds of brush. I don't know exactly, but brush isn't that heavy, or it's actually leaves. And typically, leaves aren't that heavy. So you know, I didn't actually take the time to scale the load, but. Uh, but with the loose ball, I immediately noticed that the quality of the toe was diminished. And then uh, once with even with the loose ball, once I put the mower in the back of the trailer, because typically the mower is in the trailer, but I have to take the mower out in order to dump the load. But once I put the mower over the axles and put more weight over the axles of the trailer, essentially bringing the overall tongue weight it didn't it lowered it about a hundred pounds i think but it also added more weight to the trailer meaning that less of the overall weight was on the tongue once i did that the towing of the of the load was identical to before with a solid hitch without play so once the tongue weight was brought into reasonable uh levels even with the loose hitch, 
the toe was flawless. Even with the loose ball, the toe was flawless. So it goes to show that even though this hitch does have a wear issue, uh, if you can call it an issue, um, even though it has that problem, it still allows you to set up your trailer perfectly. And at the end of the day, the best solution that I could really come up to to the issue is to periodically just keep an eye on your ball and if you notice that it's getting loose and worn out to just go ahead and replace this section of it of the hitch and this section costs about $77 now for you to have the ability to weigh your tongue weight and if every two years you needed to replace this lower section for $77 that's not the end of the world in my opinion because it lets you set up your trailer just right. It lets you figure out. Now, once I put the new one on the truck and I towed the same dump trailer and I could tell that it wasn't 100% uh, perfect. I mean, it was you could tell that this was a new hitch compared to the one with all the play. But you could also tell that, hey, that's too much tongue weight. Like it definitely had characteristics of having too much tongue weight. But. Having everything tight and new alleviated a lot of the issues where having a loose ball really showed you and magnified the issues of having too much tongue weight. So all in all, what do I think about this product? Would I recommend this product? Um, I would still recommend the product, but it's not for everybody. It's not for somebody who wants something to last forever. You know, this hitch, I don't think will last you forever, while some of the other hitches will last you a lot longer. A hitch without any moving parts will last you a lot longer than this hitch will last you. Um, for me, I have an understanding that every once in a while, currently at the time of filming this, that part, that lower section, this part here, is $77. That might change over the next few years, but knowing that periodically i might have to replace that i guess it's not the end of the world and uh i do you know you know while this does have this wear issue it does add a level of safety to be able to measure your tongue weight and set up your trailers if you're getting loaded now if i'm towing my dump trailer and i'm loading it or getting loaded or whatever and i'm realizing that i'm overloading my tongue i could position things in the trailer in real time I could position things more toward the rear, whatever, of the trailer than what, whatever, whatever, you know. So it does add a level of usability and a level of safety that for me, you know, given that it has this little bit of wear, it does achieve a lot of things. And the hitch itself still doesn't cost too terribly too much money. If you look at some of the competitors that have good hitches, like uh, Gen Y has really good hitches. And if you're the kind of person that want something that's probably never going to wear out maybe the gen y hitches are for you they're not typically i don't think they have aluminum hitches i think they're steel they have torsion hitches which uh would ab which uh, absorb a lot of the movement of the trailer and they offer good warranties on the hitches but i don't know if they have a scale but at the end of the day if you're looking for a hitch you're hauling heavy daily and you're looking for something that's not going to ever wear out maybe a gen y hitch is better that being said gen y hitches cost more than way safe hitches and you know while this lower section might wear out by the time you catch up through to a to a gen y hitch you're gonna have probably replaced a couple of these before you catch up to the cost of one gen y comparable gen y hitch and Another thing about those Gen Y hitches is they go a little higher than your waist safe hitches, which this one's rated for 21,000 pounds. And this F450 is rated for 26,000 pounds. So that might force you into a bigger hitch if you're trying to tow closer to that 26,000 pound max on a 450. I think some of the Gen Ys actually go up to like 32,000 pounds, which is beyond the uh, capacity even of even the 450 uh pickup truck maybe different for the cabin ca chassis trucks but in conclusion do i recommend it yes i do i'm going to continue to run this hitch i'm going to experiment with some different things i'm going to maybe try to grease the actual ball and see if that helps 
I don't know. But anyway, guys, that's it for the video. This is DS Trucks, where we run nothing but the best. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Trying to be honest 100% with you guys. But thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Over and out.